In this video, we will be talking about monetizing your niche market. Monetizing means making money or monetization. It's how you're going to make money, generate revenue from the niche market you've chosen. So here are some ways that you can make money with niche marketing or niche that you are pursuing or an online business basically. We're calling it niche marketing but in all actuality it's basically with the business that you've chosen, the business model or the market that you've chosen to pursue. Affiliate marketing, this is where you promote products for commission. So it could be a set commission of say $50 for every sale or it could be a percentage like if it's a digital product it could be 50 to 75 percent. If it's like a supplement it could be 20 percent or if it's a product that you're an affiliate for on say Amazon or eBay uh, especially like Amazon their commissions range anywhere from 4 percent up to about 10 percent depending on the type of products you're promoting. So usually about 6 to 8 percent in there for Amazon and so that gives you an idea as to what kind of products and percentage you might be looking at. It could be physical products or digital products that you promote and recommend to your audience based on the niche market you're pursuing. Cost per action. This is where you get paid for sending leads. So if you've chosen like insurance or maybe even travel, you could get paid for sending leads. Get paid a set amount for sales. So this is similar to affiliate marketing where it's they call it cost per action and affiliate marketing generally could be lumped into this as well. Especially if you're promoting like supplements, you could get paid a set fee of $20 for every trial that somebody signs up for. Or if you're doing insurance leads, you get paid a dollar or $10 for every lead. Building an email list. So no matter what uh, niche market you've chosen, you're going to want to build up an email list. So this is a list of people that are interested in what you have to offer. It allows for ongoing promotions to a targeted audience of people. And you can build up your email list by the thousands once you really get your gr business growing. And when you get it up to that level, that's when you can see the sustainable full-time income. It's the best way to generate that consistent income that you're seeking. And if you look at an email list, you look at it as an instant traffic source, an instant way that you could send an email and you have an instant source of traffic to an affiliate offer, to your own product, to your own services, whatever it is that you're offering for your niche market, that's where building an email list is so essential. So it's, I would say it's an essential niche marketing monetization strategies to build up an email list. Creating your own information product. This is where you create a product that you make all the profits on because it's all your product. It's 100% yours. This allows you to build a quick list up as well because you have a list of buyers that actually purchased your product. Contextual links. This is another way that people can actually generate revenue with their blog or their affiliate site. This is where you get paid when people click links on your website. So as people are reading through your content, and you'll see this on a lot of more, you know, higher quality, high traffic type websites that have been around a while. They'll have these links that will have a certain keyword phrase. It might be the phrase weight loss or it might be golf training. And all of a sudden that keyword phrase is hyperlinked and it's green and underlined or it might be blue and underlined. And somebody clicks on that, you get paid for some somebody clicking on that link. Google AdSense is another example. Those are ads that display and you can actually get paid by just creating really good solid content. There are some businesses that that is their business model and they do very well at it as well. Selling your niche websites. This is where after you've built it up and you've built up an email list, you've got consistent traffic, you've got sales coming in, you could actually make money selling your website. You could also put in all the effort to build up this great niche business and then sell it before it's really exploded. You're obviously not going to get as much for it, but there are people that actually build niches up just to turn around and sell them. And then it's all about multiple income streams. So it doesn't mean you need to pick just one of these. And another example might be drop shipping. So that's where you find a supplier for certain products and you turn around and you sell those and they're physical products that you're selling in your own e-commerce type store. That's another way you can make money from a niche market. Another method is services. You could offer services like setup services, coaching services, consultations, diet you know, training and exercise routines. You can come up with all sorts of ways that you can monetize beyond this list that I just gave you. But in the end, to have an effective uh, niche business and niche marketing plan, you want to have multiple streams of income. And that's where you can also go out there and create multiple niche sites. Once you get one making you money and you get comfortable with the process, you could start another one or you could really just grow yours, take it to the next level. You could, you know, make affiliate revenue, have an email list, have your own digital product, have websites that have have contextual links or sell or actually sell advertising on your site beyond just Google AdSense and actually sell advertising space. Create 
coaching programs or training programs. So you have multiple streams of income rolling in for you at any given time. And that's where you're going to really see things kick into high gear. So affiliate marketing, this is when you get paid a commission for referring a buying visitor to a vendor's website. Commissions can range, again, anywhere from 1% to 100%, depending on the product. There are some digital information products that will actually give 100% commission because their end goal is just to generate a buyer's lead. And that's why I was recommending having your own email list and building that up with your own product. It's a quick way to do that is to have your own information course. Physical, physical products, they have lower commissions, but sometimes are higher in demand, so the conversions are much, much greater. So you could find physical products. You could maybe find a supply of physical products that you could get from a manufacturer in China, and you could go to a resource like Alibaba, which is a popular place where people can barter and trade and get good deals for products uh, through the international markets, uh, physical products. You could stock up on those, sell them through your website, sell them through eBay. That's a whole other different niche market that you could pursue as well. Digital products typically will pay commissions between 30% and up to the 100%. Generally, it's going to be between 50 and 70%. And higher ticket digital products will go anywhere from 30% to 50%. And that means info products like complete training, coaching type courses that are going to go for in the $1,000 range and up. 100% commission on a $7 product that would be like seven dollars in commissions before the fees are taken out and then if you look at it with a fifty percent commission on a forty seven dollar product then you're actually getting twenty three dollars and fifty cents in commissions before any fees are taken out so even though it may look attractive to promote the product with a hundred percent commission you may want to consider promoting that product with the fifty percent commission because you're actually making more money per sale you're making three times uh, per sale that means you would have to make three times the sales of the same product and in doing Doing so you're actually just building up someone else's buyers list for them uh, for the seven dollar products you might be better off doing that so when you're kind of assessing products to promote and I wanted to share this example with you uh, then you, you know you may want to consider sometimes the lower percent and then it, you could take it a step further here and the 30% commission on a $997 digital product training course would be $299.10 in commissions before the fees are taken out. That is over 10 times the price, almost actually 11 times or so, the price of the 50% uh, commission product. So the lowest commission product here actually ends up making you the most money. That means you might want to put in a lot of effort to promote that 997 product because you would have to sell 11 times the products and you would have to sell almost, you know, 30 times, just about 29, 30 times the product of the seven one. So every time you sell uh, 30 of the $7 units, you could sell one of the other one and make money. And it's going to make take you a lot more effort to sell 30 units of a $7 product than it will to sell one item of a $997 product. You could sell three of those and make almost uh, $900 roughly on the 30% commission. And to make the same amount of revenue, you would actually have to sell over 100. So you'd have to sell almost 30 to 40 times of the $7, 100% commission product. Referrals are sent through a tracking link most of the time. That's how affiliate marketing works, and that's how you get paid. It's Affiliate marketing, again, it's kind of like being a commissioned sales rep for certain products, services, and that's kind of what it used to be known as in more of the offline world. And that's what affiliate marketing is online, and so a, a referral tracking link is used. Your goal is to get as many targeted visitors to click on your unique link, and that's where you can monetize your sites. You can monetize your blog with good content that's valuable to people. Place your affiliate links or banners on your websites uh, that you pursue. You could place it on your download pages for relevant offers. If you're selling your own physical product, you could also promote affiliate links to your buyer's list or put it on your download pages to attract people. Promote your affiliate links to your email list as well, as I just pointed out. That's another method for affiliate marketing. So here are some common affiliate networks. And this monetization part... Even at this stage, you know, you should know kind of what niche you're going after. But even if you're kind of on the fence, this would be a good time for you to actually research these affiliate networks and say, hey, are there places that I could actually promote products related to this niche that I'm considering? 
because what you don't want to do is go into a niche market where there, you know, there is a lot. It seems to be a lot of demand, but it's hard to monetize it. Now, most of the time, if there is a niche that is in high demand, there's going to be a way to make money from it. Uh, but every once in a while, you may come across that. So if you have a strategy knowing, hey, I've got this product X, Y, and Z that I could promote as an affiliate, then that helps you a lot. So that's where affiliate marketing can really benefit you um, as part of your niche research as well. Affiliate networks include CJ.com, used to be known as Commission Junction, now it's be purchased by a company named Conversant, and uh, CJ.com is a big one. It's just a large affiliate network with lots of products that you could promote. ShareASale.com is another big one, ShareASale.com. LinkShare.com is another really big one. ClickBank.com, we've mentioned that one before. That's a place where you could promote physical products. AvantLink, another popular one. WebGains.com, Avangate, Avangate. Uh, JVZoo.com, a lot of digital products, especially more of the internet business type products. Popular affiliate programs. So these are really popular ones. The Amazon.com, Amazon Associates program, eBay Partner Network. On both of those, you have unlimited products that you can promote. So you should have no problem no matter what niche you've chosen. You're going to find some physical products that you could promote for sure. And even if you find a very high value niche, you could create your own product and put it on ClickBank, your own info product. The tips to finding other affiliate programs. Look at the footer of websites that you want to promote. So find websites in the niche that you're pursuing. Maybe it's websites that you frequent yourself. And look at the footer of their website. A lot of times they will offer a link that says affiliate program, affiliate information, or ways to make money, those types of things. So look at the footer of places where you go and get services done. So maybe it's places you do your web hosting or other, other types of services that you may use. Web hosting, autoresponder services, those kind of things will offer that service. Maybe you go somewhere and you get stock trading advice and you've decided that, hey, I want to go into the stock trading niche and you could find out that, hey, this is a good resource and I use this site all the time for my stock tips and they might have an affiliate program as well. It could be maybe it's a supplement you're using. You might want to look at the footer of their website and see if they have an affiliate program. So there's lots of ways that you can come across places to promote as an affiliate. Now we're going to talk about CPA marketing or cost per action marketing. It's similar to straight affiliate marketing, which pays on the action of a sale. CPA generally pays out a set amount, so it's not a commission percentage, so it'll pay a set amount. CPA offers don't always require a sale for you to get paid. It could just be a lead. It could be somebody doing a trial offer. That's typically what CPA is more known for, is getting people into trial. It could be like email submissions or leads, especially like insurance type things, or people completing surveys and getting onto somebody's list. Some people, companies will pay for those leads ahead of time because they're valuable to them. Starting a trial again for like supplements, that does well. Here's some popular CPA networks. There's one called ClickBooth, not to be confused with ClickBank, but ClickBooth, CPA Way, PeerFly.com, W4.com, MaxBounty.com, NeverBlue.com, known as Never Blue Ads, and then you could also do a Google search for CPA networks. But this list here is a nice list of CPA networks, companies that you could find additional products to promote that maybe you couldn't find on Commission Junction or Share a Sale or on the other platforms we talked about in affiliate marketing. Many of these CPA network sites that I list here also have straight uh, commission based type products as well that aren't just uh, for. CPA, but most of the offers there are more cost per lead things. And so no matter what niche you've chosen, especially like diet, health, those kind of things do extremely well uh, for having products to promote through CPA formats. Building an email list. Your email list, it is your main asset. And I touched on that briefly at the beginning of this training. And it allows you instant traffic. You can follow up and promote to this list long after they have left your website. If you are focused on building up an email list effectively with a landing page or some sort of a free offer, or you're getting people to opt in on the sidebar of your blog, or maybe at the end of your blog post, you recommend that people join your newsletter, join your email list. It allows you to follow up with them after they've left your website. A lot of times when people leave your website, they're not coming back. And oftentimes it takes multiple follow-ups before people are going to come back to your website. So it takes 
oftentimes, you know, to get the action you want, you're going to need to follow up. And that's where an autoresponder comes into play. Email marketing, it provides you with an instant list. And so it's instant traffic. You can promote, again, your product or an affiliate offer. And it's one of the most essential ways to having a long term consistent business. So here are the basic steps to building up an email list. You need an autoresponder software. You need a free giveaway offer or an ethical bribe. So no longer does it work to just say, hey, join my newsletter, but you want to give people an you could have them join a newsletter, but you want them to know what kind of content they're going to get from that newsletter. What are they going to learn from you? Are they going to get weekly tips, weekly stock advice, monthly uh, stock trading advice, monthly diet and exercise routines? What is the case you know that they're going to get from you? Is it an ebook? What's the benefit? Is it a video course? Is it an audio course? What kind of benefit are they going to get? So you need to create some sort of an ethical bribe, and it could be uh, something like we're doing here, where it's a PowerPoint training put onto PowerPoint just like this video you're watching now using a Logitech USB headset that's what I'm using to make this video and a software like Camtasia or Screencast-O-Matic to record what you have you can place this then onto what's called a squeeze page or a landing page with some bullet points as to why they should download this report what are they gonna get from this content from this material and then you need to focus on sending traffic to this page and we'll cover traffic methods later on in this course as well so video traffic are you know posting videos online and sending people to this squeeze page articles social media posts paid traffic at the bottom of your blog post having good quality content getting people to purchase your product and those kinds of things and we're going to cover that in more detail on how to build an email list in the next video because it is so important Creating your own info product. This is where, you know, creating a product, it's absolutely vital to your long term success with niche marketing because it really establishes you as that expert gives you credibility, sales, and builds up that email list for you, a list of buyers, a list of people that have visited your website and you have like a pop under there. And it's a, you know, here's some methods for quick product creation that you may want to consider. So you could do an ebook would be a great start. And this is where you create an outline which includes your main points as to what you want to cover in that training course. One thing that I like to do, and I've got an example here, is I like to go to Amazon.com, and you'll notice when you're looking at books, they have a look inside feature. And so you could look at books in the nonfiction department, uh, books that are related to the niche market you're going after, whether it's books about golf or ailments or the niche that you're pursuing, relationships, uh, business advice, marketing advice, and do the look inside feature for outline ideas of ways you could structure your outline. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you copy an outline exactly, but I would get you know some ideas from maybe five or six other books on that same topic on Amazon and just click on look inside and it actually gives you the first few pages so you can see the table of contents because Amazon wants you to see what a book's about before you purchase it. Again, don't copy it, but take ideas. Another idea is to look at Yahoo Answers for questions that people want answered in your niche market. So go to answers.yahoo.com or just Google the phrase Yahoo Answers. Another popular site that's similar to this is called Answer Bag. And you can go in, type in the niche that you've decided you want to pursue and come up with a list of questions that people in your niche have. You could also go to forums in that niche as well to get additional ideas. Look at easingarticles.com for subject matters that they've covered in articles and think of ways that this must be a popular topic because this author has been writing about this for a while and you could you know work up and actually make that one of your chapters one of your modules in your training course. A video course similar to an ebook where you're going to create your outline and you could do it using the same methods I just covered above and you would use a tool called Camtasia or Screencast-O-Matic to record your on-screen activity and that's exactly I'm using a tool called Camtasia now and again I have a Logitech USB headset and I'm recording it onto PowerPoint you could also use open office which is another way uh, that you could create PowerPoint files and it's just a matter of taking your content your research what you've done what you've researched Maybe it's a niche that you already know about and you can make them into bullet points, make it into a product. Interview, this is where you find someone influential in your niche and conduct an interview with them. You could get a group of people together and have a nice interview style product. So find people in the niche. And this is an awesome part, especially for you if you've chosen a niche that maybe you're not 100% knowledgeable about, but you know people that excel in this niche or you've 
basically put in the legwork to find people and connect with them on social media, Twitter, and other avenues. You could go out and interview them and create your own product that way as well. Or use the interview as a bonus to your ebook or video course that you've included. And it's a win for the person you're interviewing. It doesn't mean you have to split the profits with them. Although if they want to and they already have a following in that niche, it may not be a bad idea because they could help you promote it. But it also is a win-win for them because they gain exposure to your audience. And so if you position it the right way, they're going to be flattered and excited to do that. Use ClickBank.com to handle merchant processing and affiliate tracking for your own digital product. It's one of the easiest platforms to use, and it's set up for this kind of stuff. Uh, ClickBank will also pay your affiliates for you, and you need affiliate-driven traffic because, as far as traffic goes, that is one of affiliate-driven traffic is one of the best types of traffic that you can obtain for your business. You can also get additional traffic just from being on their marketplace, from people stumbling across your product, and most importantly, from affiliates finding it. And that's where ClickBank really excels, is in the digital product space. So that's where creating your product is a great way to get established in a niche market. Contextual links, they're found in content, and if clicked, it creates revenue for you. So it might be something where you get paid 50 cents every time someone clicks on a link in your site, or you might get paid 25 cents every time somebody clicks on a link. The goal is to get as many targeted visitors to your site to potentially click on these links. Now, there's a site out there called Ask Dave Taylor. Uh, there's several other ones out there. His is more of like techie stuff, and for the longest time, he was monetizing his site with Google AdSense and many, many years, and complete full-time income, obviously doing extremely well there are people that pull home six figure incomes by just doing Google AdSense uh, Joel Com is another person that in the past uh, he is you know rose to fame because he has done extremely well with contextual type advertising with Google AdSense and he has websites that had targeted visitors on it Google AdSense it's a it's a great example of this type of advertising and quality content just like anything else with this business is key to making this strategy work more traffic means more potential clicks on your website and that's just a proven fact and you can see here an example where on certain websites you'll see this pops in there uh, Android this is an article talking about looks like Android or uh, something to do with mobile opportunities and you know so this is where somebody clicks on that 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 website owner would get paid and then finally we'll talk about selling your niche website now there are many other strategies I could talk about when it comes to monetizing your niche that could be include things like offering services to other people coaching help and we touched on that offering an e-commerce store where you sell physical products in your niche so beyond just these methods there are other methods that you could leverage that you could market and promote uh, to your following that you could actually sell Building a niche website that you flip, it's a viable income strategy for niche marketing. And there are people that actually build websites that make money and then they sell them for 6 to 12 times the monthly revenue or more in some cases, sometimes up to 20 times the monthly revenue. Then you can also build websites and hold them for a long period of time before selling to maximize the income from it and then the final sales price. So if you have a site that's been generating income for a full two years, consistent income, then that site's going to be worth a lot more than a business that's only been generating income for, say, six months. It's going to be worth a lot more, and it's a good exit strategy for your niche markets. Some people that go into niche marketing, they just want to do it to get into several different niches and just because they enjoy that part of things. Other people people you pick your niche and that's the niche market you're gonna focus in on and monetize it as best as you possibly can and that's completely fine both methods work great remember that you are building a legitimate asset here it does not matter if your niche market flops if you have a website that's getting any kind of traffic if you have unique content which is advisable otherwise you may as well not pursue that niche but if you have a blog that you've built up you've built up some sort of an email list all those things are assets so even if your niche in if by your standards maybe a flop and one thing I want to caution people of though is getting out of the niche too quickly because uh, that's a big mistake people make is they're so close to success they're so close to actually seeing the traffic just spike and explode and they just give up they give up right as they're at the doorstep of success and that happens all too often in business and in life and in all kinds of avenues and they tend to bail way too quick and so remember that you are building a legitimate asset here and so even if it flops and you've given it a good honest try you could still sell that niche business and you have an exit strategy but there are some people that they go into a niche market and they just build websites just to turn around and sell them or build info products to sell uh, the asset together 
have a niche website that's well monetized and this includes you know having a good list building strategy in place so that you can show that revenue and so next that brings us to the next topic which is going to be go into more detail on list building we talked about it here as a way that you can make money with niche marketing now we're going to go into more detail on list building so you can actually apply it to your niche business